Turning now to our Commitment 2016 coverage, Monterey County Supervisor Fernando Armenta officially announced that he is seeking re-election for his District 1 seat, which he has held for 15 years. Action News reporter Bianca Beltran is in our Salinas newsroom with the latest on the Supervisor race. Aaron, so far Armenta is up against two other candidates, both with a number of years under their belt in local politics. Now with three people in the race, they have just a few months to convince voters to keep them in the race. I was here yesterday, I'm going to be here today, and I'm going to be here tomorrow. I'm not going anywhere. That's the message incumbent Supervisor Fernando Armenta is emphasizing in his campaign for re-election. After a decade and a half in the position, he says his opponents are going to have to work hard to take his seat in the Monterey County Board of Supervisors. I'm going to force whoever wants to compete with me. I will force them. If they want to win, they got to walk as much as I do or better. Walking door to door is how Salinas City Councilman Tony Barrera expects to make the move to the county level of leadership. The only way I can really get a pulse for our community is by visiting the voter. Yeah, I can have parties and fundraisers and all that, which I won't get much, but I want to meet the voter face to face. District 1 of Monterey County includes most of urban Salinas. A county seat would allow Barrera to represent his community full time. District 2 from the City Council is already in District 1 on the Monterey County level. So I've been serving several of the families uh, in, in this capacity. This isn't the first time these two competed for this position. The City Councilman tried to unseat the supervisor in 2012, but lost by over 800 votes. Now, Assemblyman Luis Alejo also announced his candidacy for this District 1 seat last week. And Alejo previously endorsed the incumbent in 2012. Now, the three candidates will face off in a primary election in June. In the Salinas Newsroom, Bianca Beltran, KSBW, Action News 8. Thank you, Bianca. A ban on all fireworks in Salinas could be headed to the ballot. 13,000 signatures were turned in to the city of Salinas today, all of them in favor of overturning the ban on so-called safe and sane fireworks. Once the city clerk has counted and verified every single signature, they will then go to the county for ver verification, and then the city would have a few options. They could vote to withdraw the ordinance banning safe and sane fireworks, or the decision could go to residents for a vote. The city needs just over 5,000 signatures for the issue to be included in a general election and almost 8,000 signatures to hold a special election. The biggest issue is that we had uh, uh, dozens and dozens of local nonprofits, churches, schools. Uh, they, they would get uh, up to a quarter of a million dollars every single year. What I find unique is, is the timing that, and the people that are financing. Who's financing the signature gathering? Is this I don't believe this is a nonprofit. So I believe this is people that sell the fireworks. They're making the most money. Make sure that they all have this section. Mayor added that holding a special election for this issue could be costly up to two or three hundred thousand dollars.